When yes. you see this, when you see Apiwe, it is officially the weekend. Does that mean we can't see her any other time of the week? Oh, we see her every she's day. She's going to confuse viewers if they see her, right? Yeah, so but when we see Apiwe, it's the weekend. It's the weekend every day <laughs> with Apiwe when you see her. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, ladies. I missed you guys so much. Welcome back. It's so good My to be faves. back. Yeah, and, and dying to hear what we've missed out on, these fun so, videos. I don't even know where to start. Like, I know there's some stuff that we're probably going to leave out today. Yeah. But we'll just start with the important stuff first and then we'll keep it moving. All okay? right, go. Let's go. <laughs> right. So um, to get, let's just get to it. The year has certainly started off with a bang. So many trending videos, so little time. And before we get into it, our first trending video here is uh, a little refresher. Do you remember this? The roofing of most of those houses are the stage. And those houses are very close to each other. And for those who grew up in the rural areas, and no fire, uh, what we call them, fire extinguishers and fire brigades in those areas. The best we know is to take a bucket, dip it in water, and throw it onto the fire. So it was important for us to create sufficient capacity of water to be available to deal with those security impediments that we had already identified in our system. I think it's important for people to understand and take the topographical and geographical context and the location of Uganda, where it doesn't have the amenities that we normally take for granted as a nation. You know what, ladies, the, just the expressions uh -huh. on your faces tell me what I need to We're know. We're defeated. Why are you taking us back <laughs> there? I have to. Well, just a, a little refresher of, you know, <laughs> where, where we find ourselves here. Oh, so in case the viewers yeah. missed it, before yeah. I get into your comments, ladies, in case the viewers missed it, we've been speaking about it all week, all morning. The ANCSG, Figuil Mbalula, has spent his entire week clarifying the comments that he made last weekend in Pumalanga, where he was talking about the support the ANC had shown former President James. Jacob Zuma, who is now voting for another party, and he spoke about how the party defended him during the fire pool debacle. Now, if you missed it, you know I got you. We went to parliament and opened an ad hoc committee and said uh, a swimming pool is a fire pool. U minister of police, Ebile Kopenga Selanga Kyoala, Ubona Kuti, Lento Bukok, Kunzimu explain Bukok, People have lost their careers. Because of that thing. Yeah, a constitutional court. Yeah, it is a voter in two, two weeks' time. Wabu yum huen muhuen. Get judgment and jan. Wabata u president we to wati is not fit for office. Sam nyamezel. Nam tanje uta kakwazu nyamezel u president we to onga zange wabetwa i judgment. My faves, do you have anything mm. to add to mm. that? No, no please. All I want to say is. It didn't age well. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right? No. I know. Okay. I Let's know. keep it moving. So another topic that's been trending all week is the three-part BBC Africa docu-series on the late TB Joshua. Now, he was the leader of the mega church in Nigeria. And in the documentary, he's accused of committing sexual crimes I'm on a mass scale. And uh, heavy as it was, I watched the docuseries. And I think for me, the most heartbreaking was the revelation that Joshua, TB Joshua, locked up his own daughter um, and tortured her for years before leaving her homeless on the streets of Lagos. Ladies, did you guys watch the docuseries? Yeah, I did. Have you finished it now? I finished it. Did you? Yeah, oh. um, it, 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 it is really just shocking, you know, um, shock or horror yeah. because so many revelations, uh, that church building collapse, how they handled that particular matter. Um, not that I, it didn't come as a shock because I think many of us at the time suspected that this is what was happening. Yeah. They confirmed it. Uh, the sexual um, abuse of so many of the disciples, mm -hmm. uh, those women, some of them speaking out in this documentary. And as you say, also what happened to his very own yeah. daughter awesome. and how she was treated. But yeah, yeah spoiler yeah. alert, uh, we'll stop there. Unfortunately, um, that's of course. Just, Lots my of viewing commentary. for this weekend. You'll watch oh. it this weekend, mm. Mandy? Unfortunately. Yeah, okay. I started on episode one, yes. and already that's got Listen, me like... Mm. I, By episode three, right it gets mind. so heavy. You're just oh. like, I don't even know why I started watching this. But anyway, yeah. lots yeah. being said on social media as well. Let's take a look at some tweets and see what the uh, viewers had to say and online users. 
Ms. K. All right. Uh, this one says, thank you for this piece. Many of us are already aware. Can you report on the genocide taking place in the north by Fulani Islamic terrorists against the people of the Middle Belt? Additionally, investigate the perceived complacency of the Nigerian government and concerns about compromised military involvement for a comprehensive understanding. Okay, this is from Ayubami saying they should first arrest those that hide the truth then, but coming out to tell the BBC now, they were all accomplishments of the whole thing. And last but not least, Akin Suku says, even if I don't know much about this man's ministry, but I remember vividly that while I was small, then I used to see this man provide for the poor, both in cash and food. All those bags of rice given to the poor, poor I beg your pardon, were that staged also. That's what's coming in. Mm. Sure. Okay, I see your face and <laughs> we'll, we'll just... I think people need to watch the documentary mm. yeah, to understand that yeah. not all of it was staged, but to, for more clarity, you need to watch the documentary. And last but not least, uh, certainly, once um, a year, former President Tawombeki has to respond to claims <laughs> of other this. ill health or being killed <laughs> by the internet. Mr. Mbeki spoke to SABC News' Chriselda Lewis in the sidelines of the funeral of photographer Peter Makubane, and he assured the nation that he is fit <laughs> as a fiddle. <laughs> President, feeling well? Are you fine, feeling well? Yes, I'm fine. Feeling good? Very well, ma'am. No, the story, that story, which they tell, that story originated from somebody in Ghana in 2016. And they keep popping it up every year. I don't know what they're up to. We've told the Ghana government that they must attend to it. Uh, it's a silly story. I don't know what, what his intention is. But somebody keeps popping it up every year. But as you can see, I'm still very much alive and well. We're glad to hear that, Mr. President. Thank you very much. And a happy new year to everybody. Thank you very much. I mean, Griselda didn't touch the president just to make sure it's not a good story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he really is alive. You know, there's a trending. I, I have to bring one up. Just before we say goodbye, yesterday had to be one of the worst but funniest days ever. So we, we spoke about a malfunction with wardrobe, but you don't understand the geniuses that I work with. And I have to tell you, it was just too much. So, so yesterday I had a spot on my shirt. Just before I'm leaving makeup, I was like, okay, let me wipe it. And then I'll blow. Ladies, you know, you blow dry it. So mm. you do. As I'm blow drying it, <laughs> Shirt's burning. So there's this big hole here, and I'm like, I have to go on air. How am I going to do this? Anyway, step up geniuses. So Zonke was here and Sakina, and they have this grand idea. Sewing, pins, you name it. I had a different style shirt every time the camera came to me. <laughs> but then the real killer was, they decided to take a coin with an elastic band. Hack, listen, this is the hack we're leaving with. Put it inside, tie it up, and rouge the shirt. Unbelievable. Listen. I don't know how you survived yesterday, but well done. I know to we you. got we got through it, but but let me tell you, high five and I'm genius, genius, <laughs> genius. Girl. A coin in an elastic band. <laughs> that is the hack for the weekend. How was yeah. the week back? You guys are ready to keep it going? We're going. It it, it went well. I yeah. must say, no so complaints. Minus okay. minus yeah. burnt holes and shirts. Yeah. is great. Awesome.